What's up YouTube, this is Demkeys and today you're gonna learn how to make a loading screen with a progress bar. Now a lot of tutorials out there teach you how to make progress bars that are based on some sort of a timer. In this tutorial you're gonna learn how to make a real progress bar that shows you the actual progress of the level that you're loading and a fake progress bar as well that runs on a timer. We're gonna start by creating a level select menu. I'm doing this in a project that I worked on a long time back. It's a game called The Diary of an Insomniac. The reason for this is that the main level in this game takes some time to load. So I figured that would be a good example for a real progress bar. But if you don't have such a project, then don't worry about it. Just create a blank scene, save it, and be sure to add it to the build settings of your game because you're gonna need that in order to be able to load the scene. So let's begin. First of all, create an empty game object, call it scripts. Next, add a script to it, call it loading bar script 04. Next, add a UI image to the scene. This is gonna create a canvas and add the image as a child of that canvas. Rename the image to level select BG, stretch the image so it fits the size of the canvas and change its color to black. Then right click the canvas, add a button, rename it to BTN level 01. Make sure that this button is below level select BG. Next, add another image. Make sure the image is below the button because we want it to show up in that order. Rename it to loading screen BG and change its color to anything but black. Stretch this out as well. Next, add a slider, rename it to progress bar and bring it up here and stretch it out. Next, add UI text, resize it and change the font size to 40 and then just erase the text. We will be setting the text from the script. Change the name of this object to loading text. Alright now select loading screen BG, progress bar and loading text and disable them because we will be enabling them through the script. Open up loading bar script 04 in mono develop and now let's add some code to this script. First of all using unity engine dot UI. Next using unity engine dot scene management. Next async operation AO. Public game object loading screen bg public slider progress bar public text loading text next public bool is fake loading bar initially it should be false public float fake increment and finally public float fake timing all right next we need to add a function public void load level 01 and save the script and go back to unity now select btn level 01 which is the button that we created earlier and where it says on click add an on click event drag and drop the scripts object over here because the scripts object contains the script that contains the function that we need to call when this button is pressed. So open this drop down and under loading bar script 04 select load level 01. So what's going to happen is when this button is clicked this function will be called. Let's just make this button a little big and you can change the text if you want as well. I'm going to change it to level 01 and change the font size as well. All right so let's go back to mono develop and within our load level function first of all we need to enable our UI objects. So loading screen bg dot set active true progress bar dot game object dot set active true and loading text dot game object dot set active true next we want to set the text for our loading text game object so loading text dot text equals loading next if not is fake loading bar and else not is fake loading bar basically means is fake loading bar is set to false next i enumerator load level with real progress now let me explain what this is this function right here is a coroutine i'm not going to go into much detail about coroutines but the basic idea is that coroutines are functions that have the ability to pause their execution at a certain point and then resume their execution from that point after a certain interval the interval could be one frame a couple of seconds etc all right now first let's type down the entire code for this function and then we'll go line by line to see what each line of code does yield return new wait for seconds one next ao equals scene manager dot load level async one in this case you need to use the index or the name of the level that you're trying to load ao dot allow scene activation equals false while not ao dot is done progress bar dot value equals ao dot progress if ao dot progress is equal to 0.9 f then loading text dot text equals press f to continue next if input dot get key down key code dot f then ao dot allow scene activation equals true then at the end of the while loop type debug dot log ao dot progress and yield return null. All right, so we are done with our load level with real progress function. Before I explain the code, within our load level 01's if statement, type start coroutine, load level with real progress. 
Now let's take a look at the code. So first of all, we have yield return new wait for seconds. Now, if you remember earlier, I had mentioned that coroutines are functions that have the ability to pause their execution and continue the execution from that point after a certain interval. In order to pause the execution, you need to use yield return statements. Now, in the case of this particular statement, it's first going to wait for one second and then pause the execution and continue at the next frame. If we don't use this line of code, then our three UI objects will not show up on the screen in time. Now, in the next line, AO equals scene manager dot load scene async load scene async loads a scene asynchronously in the background and load scene async returns an async operation which is why we have written AO equals scene manager dot load scene async async operations can give you details like whether the level is done loading or the progress of the level load or the priority of that particular async operation etc next AO dot allow scene activation equals false the reason why we are setting allow scene activation to false is because as soon as the level is done loading it gets activated which means it's going to show up on the screen now there might be situations where you don't want it to show up on the screen instantly you might want to display a message first that says press so and so key to continue so in those kind of situations you should set allow scene activation to false next while not ao dot is done is done is a boolean which is true if the level is completely loaded and that includes activation and it is false if the level is not completely loaded next progress bar dot value equals AO.progress. So this is basically a while loop that is running and this line right here is what is going to give our progress bar its value. The value of progress can only be between 0 and 1. It will start at 0 and gradually increase to 1 as the level gets loaded. Next, if AO.progress is equal to 0 0.9. The reason why we are checking if it is equal to 0 0.9 is because given the fact that we have set allow scene activation to false, our progress is going to stop at 0 0.9 and it's not going to go any further until we we allow the scene to get activated. So we know that the progress is going to stop at 0 0.9. So if AO.progress equals 0 0.9, that means the level is completely loaded, but it just requires activation. So then we set our loading text to press F to continue. And then we check if the user has pressed the F key on their keyboard. And if the user has pressed the F key, then we set allow scene activation to true, at which point the level loads. Now, if AO.progress is not equal to 0 0.9, then none of the this is going to get executed and it's going to move on to the next statement which is debug.log AO progress. The reason we are doing this is because when I play the game there is a chance that the progress bar is going to fill up so fast that you won't notice a difference. However at each loop AO.progress is going to be logged in the console so you will be able to see the values over there. Next yield return null. This basically means that the execution is going to be paused and resumed at the next frame. This allows the while loop to keep going. So now hit save and go back to unity and before running the game Select the scripts object and drag and drop loading screen BG under the loading screen BG field, progress bar under the progress bar field, and loading text under the loading text field. Leave is fake loading bar unchecked because this is not a fake loading bar, and leave fake increment and fake timing at zero. Save this scene as well before playing the game and make sure you can see the console. And now let's run the game. Now, when I click on level 01, we have the loading text and the loading bar filled up really quick. And now finally, the text changed to press F to continue. And as you can see, the console is still showing 0 0.9 because the while loop is still running. Now when I press F, the next level loads. I'm gonna stop the game and let's go to the very top of the console. As you can see in the first loop, the progress was zero. And then in the next loop, this was the progress and it kept increasing until it finally reached 0 0.9. This is how you know that there's actual progress taking place. This is not a fake result. Now, if you have used this same logic that I used, and yet in one loop, your progress is zero, and in the next loop, it jumps straight to 0 0.9, that doesn't mean that the logic is not working. It just means that your level loaded really fast, which is a good thing. Now, our progress bar's value stops at 0 0.9. It doesn't go any further from that, and that's because of the way we have created the logic. However, we want it to be shown as if the progress bar is full. So the player knows that now the level has loaded and the player can press the F key. So go back to the code and within the if statement that's checking if AO.progress is equal to 0 0.9, add one more line of code, which is progress bar dot value equals one F. Save the script, go back to Unity, play the game. And now once it's done loading, it goes all the way to the end.
All right, so this is a real progress bar. Next, we are gonna create a progress bar that is based on a timer. We are not gonna create a new scene. We are just going to create a new coroutine. So I enumerated load level with fake progress and call it over here in the else statement. So start coroutine, load level with fake progress. And now within our coroutine type yield return new wait for seconds. You already know why we are doing this. Next, while progress bar dot value not equals one F progress bar dot value plus equals fake increment and then yield return new wait for seconds fake timing next while progress bar dot value is equal to one F loading text dot text equals press F to continue next if input dot get key down key code dot F scene manager dot load scene whatever your scenes index is and finally at the end of that while loop yield return null so this is our load level with fake progress coroutine let's go over it real quick you know why we are using wait for seconds over here at the beginning next while progress bar dot value not equals one now initially our progress bars value is going to be zero which means it is not equal to one and so this line of code will be executed so for example if fake increment is let's say 0.3 and fake timing is 1 so it's going to add 0.3 to the current progress bar value and then yield return new wait for seconds now the reason why we are using wait for seconds over here is because this is our fake timer how it's going to work is since progress bar dot value is not 1 0.3 will be added to the value and then it's going to wait for one second after which it will pause the execution and resume at the next frame and then the while loop will run again because again Again, progress bar dot value is not equal to one it will keep on running like this until progress bar dot value is equal to one at which point this is not gonna run anymore and it will move on to this while loop so while progress bar dot value is equal to one loading text dot text will be set to press F to continue and then of course we have to check if the user has pressed the F key or not and then we load the scene using scene manager dot load scene now in this case I have used load scene instead of load scene async because we are not loading the scene in the background and finally yield return null so that the while loop can continue running hit save go back to unity and before running the game click the scripts object check is fake loading bar set fake increment to 0.3 and set fake timing to 1 now when i play the game and i click level 01 loading and it goes based on the timer now once the value of our progress bar has reached one, the text changes to press F to continue. And then when you press F, it's gonna take some time to load the level, but finally it loads the level. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you would like to watch more tutorials, you can click in the top left corner of the screen. And in the top right is a link to my music channel where I post music that I make in my free time. In the bottom left corner, you have a preview for a small game that I made. The links for the project and the game build are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.